Okay, this video is a continuation of the Activity Development 2 on how to draft using computer-aided design drafting. Um, today I'm going to talk about the abstract, um, the actual principles behind geometry and its application within the drafting software. Um, first of all, let's talk a little bit about geometry. So let's open up AutoCAD. Um, we're going to talk about uh, simple lines. You have a line here that goes horizontal okay that's simply a horizontal line you also have line segments that go vertical such as that um, now in talking about the principles of geometry you have lines that are parallel for instance this line that I'm getting ready to make there is parallel to this line it means they share the same plane the same with the vertical also share the same plane so though that's an um, idea of parallelism and now we're going to talk about intersecting lines so if I drew a line through these two parallel lines you actually have an intersection you have an intersection here you have an intersection here same way with the vertical intersections here intersection here now that covers the um, parallel and the perpendicular now we're going to talk more about excuse me that covers the parallel and the intersecting lines now we're going to talk about perpendicular lines so if I trimmed these two lines right here now this line here is now perpendicular in other words, it intersects at a 90 degree angle into the vertical line. Um, that's, that's perpendicularity. Here's your parallelism. And there's your intersecting lines. Now to further illustrate the principles of geometry, we're going to talk about uh, some shapes. Uh, for instance, triangles. Uh, we're going to do a triangle the center like so now that is a triangle which has the sum of interior angles of 180 degrees so in order to have a true triangle you must have three intersecting lines and they must be at 180 degrees on the interior now you have different types of triangles you have uh, you have a right triangle uh, you have uh, an acute triangle, an obtuse triangle, a sosceles, a sosceles which has two equal sides and angles. Acute is one that is uh, less than 90 degrees. So if I had an angle that was like this, okay, that is called an acute angle. And if I had an angle that was like this, that is called an obtuse angle. Now, parts of a triangle we're going to talk a little bit more about. Of course, you know the angles. We just talked about those. That This is 180 degrees. You have a, the base, which this one is kind of upside down. Let me rotate it. Okay, you have a base, which is this bottom part here. You have the height, you have the side, and then at the top here is called a vertex. Okay. Now we're going to talk a little bit about um, squares and rectangles, which make up the remaining part of geometry. Of course, a square is nothing but... A regular polygon. The sides are, are at 90 degrees. And each side is equal. Okay, so these are at 90 degrees and all the sides are equal. That constitutes the geometric structure of a square. 
and last but not least we're going to talk about the rectangle okay the rectangle has opposite sides similar to the square with the exception that two sides are unequal you have these two sides are equal and these two sides are equal so not all four sides are equal similar to a square and I've got one more geometric structure it's called the circle simply put a circle is a closed curve with all the points around the curve as an equal distance from a point called the center which would be the center is going to be right there on this particular circle now the circle has a total of 360 degrees in the circumference this is called the circumference and this is a center point so now to recap principles and types of geometry uh, the principles are parallelism, perpendicularity, okay, um, and intersecting lines. Types of geometry uh, would be a triangle, um, square, different types of, of um, triangles, a rectangle, a circle, and it goes on to different types of polygons. So that's the end of this abstract on the activity assignment 2.